today i am going to show you a terivadi implant placement it's a stl model on which i am going to show you this is the physio dispenser on physio dispenser my setting is about 35 40 newton torque speed 1100 but in maxilla sometimes according to bone density we have to choose a little lesser than that initially i will do on 1100 after piercing if bone density is soft i will reduce it to 800 also okay so this is now a still model so let's see something about anatomy this is a maxilla anterior nasal spine nasal aperture alveolar process and now see this is pterygoid region so what is pterygoid implant pterygoid implant is basically implant that is going through tuberosity and reaches to the anchor to the pterygoid plates or the cortical bone between the fusion zone so it is actually a pterygoid implant so sometimes if we put implant obliquely through the tuberosity and if it is not anchored to the pterygoid it is called as tuberosity implant or tubero pterygoid implant so every tuberosity implant is not necessarily a pterygoid implant but pterygoid implant is true pterygoid implant is actually anchored to the cortical bone so what is this cortical bone it is made up of three fused bones one is pyramidal process maxillary tuberosity pyramidal process of palatine bone and one is sphenoid bone sphenoid bone has two parts it extends into lateral pterygoid plate and medial pterygoid plate so it is the fusion so in between these two plates there is space it is the pterygoid fossa we can call and this fusion zone is 13 mm and pterygo maxillary fissure it is average 30 to 35 mm away from tuberosity to this because in between there is a fusion zone so inter pterygoid distance remains constant in every patient but alveolar process it gets resolved in young patient alveolar process is more but as resorption happens as patient ages that alveolar process comes in so this pterygoid remains constant but process comes in so accordingly according to the age of the patient and resorption your direction point of entry of pterygoid implant changes so for for practical purpose i will suggest palpate the tuberosity lateral pterygoid muscle medial pterygoid muscle you know hemulus hemulus is clinically palpable those who are making dentures at the posterior parallel seal we can feel this notch this tubercle this pointed process is the hemulo process that is the extension of the medial pterygoid plate at least that will give you an idea that it is a medial pterygoid plate so accordingly take an angle point out into the tuberosity and then it passes through the tuberosity posterior wall of sinus hum log x ray le lenge and after that we will reach to the cortical bone so suppose if implants every clinician has different perspective someone will take point of entry from 4 mm someone will take from uh, 5 mm someone will take from tuberosity so accordingly if you take uh, 4 to 5 mm you will get more length actually you will pass through the tuberosity and what is the key under preparation under preparation because this bone is very soft so under preparation is the key and when you reach the cortical bone you have to pierce that bone in between if that implant tip comes there is no harm if it anchored to this fusion zone there is no harm if it is not anchored to this bone and you get a primary stability then also no harm but if you pierce to the lateral pterygoid muscle then it will cause a trismus because lateral pterygoid muscle has muscle attachment laterally lateral pterygoid muscle and medially medial pterygoid muscle so we have to remain away from this lateral pterygoid muscle also maxillary artery passes lateral to the lateral pterygoid muscle in fascia so staying away from this is very easy because you are putting at an angle and pterygo maxillary fissure is 35 mm away so you have to choose the drill cortical drill which is around 20 25 mm length only so that even if you pierce full length you are not going to reach or hit to the pterygo maxillary fissure that will avoid the complication of bleeding because dekho anteriorly koi implant agar hum log dalte hain that bleeding we can stop with compression but posteriorly interiorly अगर कुछ ब्लीडिंग होता है दैट ब्लीडिंग कैन नॉट बी स्टॉप विथ जस्ट अ कंप्रेशन वी डेंटिस्ट हैव ओनली दैट मच और एटलीस्ट सूचरिंग दैट इज बेसिक वी डू अदरवाइज इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू मैनेज दैट कॉम्प्लीकेशन सो 
to avoid this complication you have to choose the drill which is of 20 25 mm length an average 18 20 22 mm length reaches to the pterygoid area so now we will start with the demo i will not target this area i will target with the fusion zone so my point of entry will be like this this is muscle this is setting i will just pierce angle see the angle this is angle then after this i'll take x-ray i will take the posterior wall of the sinus and the distance from the sinus even if it is through sinus no problem because your implant crest and implant apex should be in the cortical bone if middle part is within the sinus there is no harm so after that i will reduce my setting see on model actually density is same but in clinically in patient mouth density is different actually it is soft so i have reduced my speed so now again i will do drilling came here actually so it is piercing the lateral derivative actually lateral derivative middle surface there is no problem to this also see now i will do this also this implant is active implant sharp threads apex is pointed that's why i'm taking it see tuberosity has got a crack because it is a stl model in mouth also it can happen but it will heal don't worry length you can choose accordingly suppose that comes very good talk see it hasn't come out actually but it has reached to that bone actually if I'll put again pressure, it will crack, that's why. See. Again. Tip has come out. See. So this is the angle. If it has touched to this part or this part, there is muscle attachment. It, if it is in between these plates, no problem. But suppose patient has complained that it is you can do wet and watch. After a few days, the symptoms will get resolved and patient will not have one. But if you literally target to this plate, that time it will be a harm. You will have to remove the implant. Now again, I will show you another technique on different side. See, there are two, three techniques. One technique is with the drill, piercing, taking x-ray orientation and then taking to the cortical bone another technique is tapping there are osteotomes actually so you have to use osteotome you have to tap in the similar direction you will hit to the cortical bone area then use the drill to perforate the cortex and then you can put the implant even if you do not perforate but you reach the anchor area you will get the primary stability similarly i will show for this side also so this is the lateral derivative plate this is the middle derivative plate i am palpating handless I am going like this. So. So. It has come in between. Similarly, I will choose the implant. Sometimes what people do implant may get slip in so that's why there is smart abutment provided by Austin CJ driver sits onto it now onto the CJ driver so that implant goes halfway you should get that feel उसको स्टेबिलिटी है अगर नहीं होता है इट में ब्रेक और इट में स्लिप इनटू द स्पेस इतना लंबा इंप्लांट स्लिप होने के चांसेस बहुत कम रहते हैं सो 
if it reaches to that area see it has came out in between space even if it comes out no problem this is the proper orientation angle there are angle adapters pins accordingly you have to choose multi units so this is the advantage of doing terrywood implant you can avoid cantilever and do this similar thing you can do with the tapping so there are three techniques one is just with bone tapping with the osteotomes second technique is just with the drill perforation of the cortical plate and selection of the implant and third technique is combination of these two osteotome as well as drills thank you